triggers. Now, I've been doing a little series on Flash, and I'm going to continue that series on Flash, so I better show you what's new. Uh, this has only just come to my attention. <clears throat> we have loads of triggers here. We've got triggers, we've got the Pocket Wizard, the Yonganu, uh, the Plus X, the Hanor, a whole load. I'm not going to talk about those. I'm going to be talking about on this in this box. It's called a cactus now. Oh, there's one there as well. Uh, it's called a cactus. And it's the Cactus V6. The Cactus V6 is different from all the others. In my, <coughs> excuse me, um, in my previous videos, I've said that you have to buy one, this one flash for your make of, one trigger for your make of flash. This is no longer true. I'm very glad to say. Bees knees, this is. Best thing since sliced bread. So, how does it work? Well, on top, it's got all the connections it needs for Canon and all the connections it needs for the Nikon, Panasonic, Sony, lots of different makes. And on the bottom, the same thing. So you can add this to most cameras. Hang on a minute. <clears throat> and most flashes. For example, we've got a whole list. I'll do a close-up. Now, that's the list that's in there. All the profiles of those flashes is in there. You can also teach it the profiles of other flashes, not all. You can also add to it a flash that is much, much too powerful for a normal camera. A normal camera will take, what, a flash, four, one and a half, six volt flashes. With this one, you can use flashes that are a lot higher and it won't damage your camera. All that. As long as it's not reverse polarity flash. Now, if anyone can tell me what a reverse polarity flash is, I'd really like to know. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so this is now the bee's knees. This is the thing to have, in my view. Why? Because if you see a Nikon flash in a, in a sale, um, very cheap, and you've got Canon, you might think you'd like to buy it. What a shame it's not Canon. Now you can. It also, I think, is going to be a wonderful accessory for camera clubs. Camera clubs so often want to do big shots with lots of flashes and they can't because one's got a Nikon flash, one's got a Canon flash and it becomes a problem. This for multi-flash work is incredibly good because four channels, you can put lots of flashes on each channel, you can light up, I should think, the, the Albert Hall with one of these and lots of different flashes. So, how does it work? As far as I've worked out, in there, and I'll show you, this has even still got the protector on the, on the window, take that off. I'll do a close-up and show you how you can select the flash that you've got. Well, firstly, we um, press the menu button, then we start to scroll through. Um, as you see, relay, delay, you can delay the flash, power mode, EV setting. So you go through until you find that. Then we press manual flash. We're going to manually choose the flash. So when we go to Canon, Nikon, etc. You scroll through all the mates. Go back to Canon and we press the button. And then we see everything that works on the Canon system, on the Nikon system. The Mets, the Nikon uh, SB, Wheat 100, etc. etc. That tells us all and we just select it. So basically what it is is, is a controller. You can change the power of your flash all from the camera just by pressing buttons. So I think it's wonderful. But don't forget one thing. It was sent to me to try. I'm going to use it because I think it's fantastic, but that's only me. Have a look at uh, all the advertising for it, the Cactus V6. I think it's great. It's up to you to decide. I'm not selling this to you. I'm just showing it to you. Oh!
they do a flash as well. Now this has got a transceiver in it, so it means that you don't have to have one of these under the flash. Other flashes that don't have the transceiver, of course, you have to have one on the camera and one under each flash. Just add that very quickly. What is that? That's the Cactus RF60. Looks like all the other flashes, they're all the same. <laughs> all right, cheers. <laughs>